Have you ever hated someone so much, but you have never met them? That's probably how your boy pizza feels about me. But that's how I feel about Freddie Stevenson. Boy, oh, he's been sitting there with his 61 overall ass sitting there for so long. Like, get out of my team. And I just last episode had a 90 overall pullback in and we took an L. Welcome back, though, to Wheel of Mutt. Uh, I don't remember what episode this is, but bro, how does this stuff happen to me? How does this happen to me? I prestiged Le'Veon Bell, and now he's officially not returning to football. So that is the best possible Le'Veon Bell card we're gonna get. Unless EA wants to drop like a uh, players who f their teams over promo, because he would definitely get the Boss Master card for that. Okay, Doki, I added some new stuff to the wheel. So remember um, an episode ago when I was saying, hey, my team's getting a little bit too good. And I was like, I don't want to do the reset. I don't want to reset the whole team, but I do want to switch it up, right? I added some new wheel spins that will replace players on our team, but not necessarily make them worse. So some of the wheel spins aren't amazing anymore. You'll see if we land on one. So I won't say anything about it right now. I'm just going to spin. But if we get one, I'll explain the rules of that. Either way. Okay, enough talking. We'll hop into our first wheel spin of episode number whatever. This episode number is, and we are gonna get a prime time! So this is gonna be like a 91 overall minimum to a 93 max, I think. And we are gonna spin the team wheel to determine who we get. Wow, that was a really good spin. All right, so the team wheel will determine if the team does not have prime time performer. We spin again, it's gonna be Vikings or Titans. Vikings, they have to. Prime time performer for the Vikings, they do. Oh my god, I really thought they didn't have one. They have Everson Griffin. Don't I already have a really good right end? 725,000 coins for a right end, but he will always quick sell for 500,000 coins, so that's always nice to know. I'm gonna put Everson Griffin here, and I'm gonna put Bruce Smith at D tackle. JJ Watt's been playing so good at left end, so I'm gonna leave JJ Watt there. I'm gonna give him some chemistries, and then we'll go from there. Now, another cool thing you guys noticed is that since Matt Stafford is my benched QB, I can use all these training points on someone else. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna refund all these training points and I'm gonna go use my Telvin Smith. 500 training is not even enough. I need 775. Sheesh. Grady Jarrett's now on the bench. So honestly, I could quick sell him too for some training. Okay, so I could quick sell Grady Jarrett too because he's on the bench now, but I don't have any power up players left. So maybe in one of these wheel spins, we'll get more power up players. Pizza place! I did this one last year. Call a completely random pizza place and ask them for a number 83 to 93. So what I'll probably do is pick a power up left outside linebacker because I kind of need that. Funny story, if you prank call a pizza place, they block your number like for forever. So my older brother, when we were in high school, not even high school, I was probably in like seventh grade. My older brother thought it'd be so funny to prank call the pizza guy and pretend like he was having sex, like making sex noise on the phone. It was so stupid. Well, he didn't want to call up his phone because he knew he'd get blocked. So he takes my phone, calls them, right? And this is the pizza place, my hometown. Calls them and he's like, uh, uh, and then, the pizza place blocks my number. So for the, the rest of my life, literally I'm still blocked. So for the next five years, whenever I wanted pizza, I'd have to like go find someone else's phone to call because I couldn't call off my phone. It's blocked. So I'm gonna call a Domino's pizza in Florida. They can block me if they want, but I'm not like prank calling, you know? Domino's also offers mouth-watering pasta. Try pen- I got- Thank you, Domino's, how can I help you? Hi, um, we're torn here. I want to do ham pizza. My girlfriend wants to do a pepperoni pizza. Can you help us out? You want a pan pizza? Bruh. Can you just pick a number, 83 through 93? Any number? 93. 93? Okay, thank you. Yeah! Oh! 93? Can I help you, Domino's lady? You are the GOAT! I get 92 overall Von Miller, which is an insane card. He was on my team for one game before. And I use the power up and I power him up to a 93. It's 93 overall. And my pizza lady, my pizza lady challenge will be fulfilled. I will not have cheated. 
and I'll have 92 overall. So we're getting Von Miller. Situational pass rusher. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do situational pass rusher, actually, because I blitz so much. I'm going to try it out. I don't really care what we get. He's, he's going to be a great card anyway, so I don't really mind either way. And that's going to make that. My team's got to be an 88 overall. Promoted to starter. Oh, we're still an 87. Are you ready? Can I play now, EA? Are you ready for me? Okay. I have 10 seconds. EA, you are the biggest shithole, dickass piece of shit company that I've ever come across in my whole life. I truly have never hated anything. My future wife could cheat on me 100 times, and I would love every single man and or woman that she cheated on me with more than I fucking hate. Real quick though, today's video is sponsored by SeatGeek. SeatGeek is hands down the best way to get tickets for anything. NFL, MLB, concert tickets, you name it, they have it. Right on the app, they actually compare prices of all the seats around you so you know exactly when you're getting a good deal. I could personally attest I always use SeatGeek for all my tickets to Lions games. This is the best place to do it. If you are getting tickets for anything, you gotta use this app. Down the link is in the top of the description. Make sure you use the code MMG for 20 dollars off your first purchase that's not really a christmasy green but we'll count it oh okay good spin move and another good spin move and a another good spin move really j just impressive play i am not even gonna complain about that because he played that so well good for him you think he's running a pitch again or it's gonna be a run play again i feel like oh it is the pitch again He's one of those guys. Yep, I knew he was going to do that. Okay, so that leaves us at third and two. I'm blitzing Stephen Gilmore. Pitch to the left? No, play action. Yo, my ball! Let's go! We got the lurk off. And Shazir runs the wrong way, but it is so fine. I don't even mind. Let's see if this is actually a blitz or not. It is actually a blitz, and I get it off to Calvin Johnson. Thank the Lord. Second and six. I kind of wanted to run the blitz again because I want to throw a bomb. Right? Yeah, Calvin Johnson! <gasps> Touchdown! That's house! Let's go! That's like a 92-yard touchdown right there. Damn! Let's get it! You already know we're throwing the fake. You already know I'm throwing the fake. What do I look like? Read the scouting report! Hey, Tom Clark. Sir, I march down the field and make one of the greatest 92-yard uh, bomb touchdowns I've ever seen in my whole life. And I am rewarded with... I am rewarded with that. All right. Let's see what we got. No? No toss play. Oh, throw it here. I triple dog kill you. Let's go. Broke it up. That is the exact same play. He's running PA crossers again. But this time with no play action. Oh, no, he's not. Wow. He, he got me. I goofed. I ain't even gonna lie, I goof. All right, third and two. I'm blitzing off the left side, and I'm gonna cover the underneaths myself. Oh, darn it. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, Ray Lewis, push him back. Right here, right here, right here, right here. Ah, no, he got that. Second and goal. Let's see what he's got. I'm honestly intrigued. Yep, inside zone again. All right, we're there. Third and three. Same thing? Oh... Marshawn. Oh, that's that's Ricky Williams. Dang, dude. He's going for two also. And I don't know why we're in this coverage. That bothers me. Got it! Daddy, 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 and of course, daddy, 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 that's literally daddy, 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 a pick daddy, daddy, six daddy, daddy, if I run the correct way. Look at that. Like, no one there. But I'm just happy I picked it off. Good defense. Oh, he is blitzing. Oh, I didn't get the pass off. Damn. There it is. There it is. There it is. Oh, jeez. Okay, so he's in a different defense now. Here's what I think. I think Tyreek Hill is going to be open after about 10. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. <sighs> and he dropped it. Dude, you know how hard it is to not complain? I need this challenge, but man, is it tough to not complain. 
Oh, is this the pitch? This is the pitch to the right side. Oh, pitch it to the left. Same exact thing. <laughs> Tackled him by his shins. Second and 12. Yep, he's literally uh, terrified of throwing the ball. Yep, 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 yep. Did he bowl forward for that? That'd be really depressing. He runs it again? Why are you running? Why are you running? And he really just got that, and now he's on the one, and he can keep running the ball. I just need to pick him off. We meet again. Oh, darn it. Tyree Kill with a good spin. <laughs> Jermaine Gresham? Bro, I thought that was Calvin Johnson. That's why I threw that. And I'll send Le'Veon Bell here. Let's try this out. Okay, I'm going to take my field goal here. I should have had that, but okay, I'll take my field goal. And I'm going to get perfect. Can't block it. That's great. 9 to 14. We have to get a stop, which has been pretty tough so far, so we'll see. And there's the pitch. Cuts it inside, breaks the tackle, and now it's fourth and one. This is about the lamest game of Madden I've ever played in my whole life. Right in the middle there, we got Greg Olson for another six yards, six, seven yards. Le'Veon Bell appears like he's going to be very open, and he is. Makes the catch for nine yards. 45 seconds on that clock. Uh, going to get something deep here. Oh, no. A in the middle of the field. Olson's got it. Great catch. Taking my first time out right there. And that's quite a bit to ask. Let's see if Calvin Johnson can go out of bounds on this play. Oh, that's bad pass. This is Tampa 2 again. Okay, we're going to score a touchdown. We're throwing this. Look at Brown. What's going on? Antonio Brown, touchdown. With 21 seconds left. We have to get the two-point conversion, though. We're going to pull Tyree Kill, and we're going to look for Greg Olson, hopefully. Oh, there it is. There it is. Go, go, get it. Woo! He might actually be running it. LOL. How comical if he is. No, he's not. Ooh, that's a good pass. Ooh, he's almost in field goal range already. Gotta pick this ball off. Oh no, he's gonna run it. And now he has the game winning field goal. We do lose Everson Griffin, which does suck. But luckily, we have Grady Jarrett still. We didn't even quick sell him. Uh, so he can go right back in at D-Tackle, and then Bruce Smith can go back in at right end. So, in reality, all we really lost was Von Miller, because we kind of had a full D-line already. We have to spin the loser's wheel, and I don't have my recording stuff out, so I'm going to do it like this. Is it two games in a row we just lost? It's unreal. It's unreal. And I didn't even complete my challenge. The loser's wheel landed on. I'm going to let you guys see it first. I don't know what it says yet. I'm never playing Madden ever again. All right, power-ups are technically silver cards. 68 overall is a silver card, so I'm going to put in power-up Cam Newton. That is a trash card. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Stay tuned for the next one. Better win the next one, or I'm going to throw my controller through a wall. All right, that's all. Peace out, y'all.